What a word, it's your boy Sporty Black checking back in, man. Um, somebody in the comment section of one of my other videos, they told me um, I should do one talking about Lil Marlo. And I intended to, you know, I was trying to gather a few more facts, you know what I mean? But, you know, that, that that's some real street shit, so, you know, people keeping that, you know, info close to the vest and close to the chest, you dig what I'm saying? And um, it's just a sad, sad situation, man. R.P. Uh, Marlo, man. You know, uh, home was a real street cat, man. You know what I'm saying? Legendary out here, you know what I'm saying, in the city, man. Especially out there in the nine. You know what I'm saying? All through the west side and whatnot, man. You know, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, had major love and respect for that boy, little Marlo, man. You know, he came in the rap game, you know, basically start rapping just off the the fact that, you know what I'm saying, he had so much clout in the street. So he was like, little baby, man, we might well just start rapping. So that's what they did. Him and little baby came in the game around the same time. Basically we're running mates over there at QC dropping, you know, tapes together. And then eventually little baby, you know what I'm saying, he put out a hit and caught a wave and you know what I'm saying, the rest history, he took on all. Lil Marlo was never really, you know, fortunate enough to get that one breakthrough single, but nevertheless, you know what I'm saying, Shot was still playing with a big bag, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, really, really out there in them streets, man, you know, get to it. But that's the thing about them streets, man. You know, them streets don't don't got no love for nobody and, and, and they don't owe you nothing, man, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you live in that street life, man, you know, it, it's a lot that come with that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of different choices and consequences, repercussions and situations. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's just a lot that come with it. Now, I can't sit up here and give y'all too much info of, of, about, you know, his, his untimely demise. Because honestly, I don't know. I know just as much as y'all know that, you know what I'm saying? He got killed um, on the express way. Looked like somebody probably, you know, ran up on them, you know what I'm saying, and probably opened fire up on them on the E-Way, you know. That's what it looked like to me, but I'm not sure at all, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's just a very, very sad situation, man, so my, my, my condolences go to all his friends and family, you know what I'm saying, because home was a good dude, home was real solid and genuine, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people had love for Rudy. That's his real name, but, um, you know, it just messed up, man. You know, a lot of people was posting, you know, about it, RPs and, you know, stuff of this nature right here, which, you know, which a lot of people tend to do. Um, Young Thug basically posted, said that, man, this this messed up, so something got to happen behind this one. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he mean retaliation or get back. I don't really know, but that what he posted. Then uh, everybody was waiting on to see what Lil Baby had to say because, you know, him and Lil Baby was H. Boone Coon. Uh, Lil Baby, you know, he posted a long caption and basically, you know, letting the world know that, you know, Lil Marlo was a gangster, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you live in that gangster life, you know, things like this come with it, you know. But I will say this, man, for some reason, everybody think that Atlanta is just peaches and cream when it come down to the rap game. Like, they think all the rappers and stuff get along and it just – Happy, happy, joy, joy, man. But in Atlanta, it's just like any other major city in, in, in the United States, man. You know, you got you got beef, you know what I'm saying? You got haters, you got animosity, you got jealousy, you got vendettas. You got all that stuff, you know what I'm saying, you know, in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Especially with artists who kind of got one foot in the rap game and one foot in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, it be like that, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't tell no nigga how to live their life. I can't tell a nigga, oh, man, if you go rap, you need to just be all the way focused on the rap. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. You know, you, I can't really tell nobody how to live their life, man, because sometimes that rap, that rap shit be too slow for some people, and the money just don't be adding up. You know what I'm saying? You be putting so much money in, and the results ain't there. So, you know, some niggas feel like they got to do both. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. It is what it is to each his own. You know what I mean? But uh, my whole point is, man, it's just, it's just a sad situation, man. You know, hopefully, you know, they find out who did it and justice gets served. You know what I'm saying? However, it gets served, you know. Um, 
I didn't know Marlo like that, so I'm not finna be on here capping like that, just with my partner and then like that. But uh, a lot of people knew of Shawty, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, home got, you know, home, you know, I'm a legend out here in these streets, especially, you know, for the young niggas coming up, you know, up and coming, 90 babies and shit like that. Yo, Shawty, Shawty really was out here, man, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's just a messed up situation, man. I really hate that happened to him. And uh, hopefully, man, we don't lose no more, you know what I'm saying, of our soldiers out here, man, because, hey, we we need to be trying to come together, man. We don't need to be keep beefing and killing each other, you know what I'm saying? That's that's that's, that's the main point right there, you know what I'm saying? We don't need to keep killing each other, man. We need to realize who the real ops is and do something about that. But that's a whole nother story, man. So once again, my condolences goes out to Lil Marlo, the whole QC family, his friends, his family, man. Rest in peace, my brother. On Sporty Black, you new to the channel, hit that sub button. I'm gone.